It's your Halloween edition of Great Call with John Parker Wilson, brought to you by the Paul W. Bryant Museum. And it's the Halloween version, so that's Indeed. why we're dressed up. Indeed. Can you take a guess at who I am? Um, Stranger Things. Stranger Things, 11. And you know, we're going to talk a little football, so it goes hand in hand. 11 guys on the field at once, and our scary edition of it. Indiana Jones here. Not Indiana my, Jones. Now my coat will tight, but that's all right. talk about the scariest part of this Alabama football team. Ooh, what scares you the most about this Alabama offense? When you look at this Alabama offense, who on that side of the football scares you the most? So if I was a defensive coordinator, who would be the scariest to me? I think it would be Bo Scarborough. When Bo lines up in the backfield, um, the one-two punch, him and Damian Harris, Bo comes in on these short yardage downs. Big guy, runs really hard, uh, faster than people think. If I'm a defense coordinator, it's short yard situation. I see him coming the game, I'm getting pretty scared. I like it. I'm going to go Damian Harris, the silent assassin. Now we go to the defensive side of the football. Who are you looking at to be the meanest of all defensive guys on that Alabama football So team? we got a lot, of, a lot of big, mean, scary guys up front. But if I'm having a game plan against Mika Fitzpatrick, I know we're going to be in, in, in a tough situation. The guy can play every position on the field. He plays corner, he plays safety, he plays nickel. He can guard a big tight end. He can run with the receivers. The guy's going to be a top 10 draft pick. He's very scary if I'm an offense coordinator trying to dial up anything to be successful against Alabama defense. And I'm going to agree with you on that. Minka Fitzpatrick would be my pick for the scariest player on this Alabama defense. Now, Alabama, uh, we're in the month of November about to be. They got LSU. They got Mississippi State. They got Auburn. And if you want to look ahead to the SEC championship game, potentially they could have Georgia. He can't take me seriously, but I take myself very seriously because I'm 11. Um, who are you looking at? Who is going to be the toughest team that Alabama will face from here on out? So, a lot of scary opponents left. You know, never know what you're going to get from Mississippi State. Nick Fitzgerald is a pretty good quarterback with them. Auburn, I think, still playing really good. They've got some growing to go before the end of the season, but there's still a lot of time for them. Um, they're healthy. They're playing you know, they're playing good, they're playing better, so that's a scary game. But I think Georgia, the Kirby Smart matchup, possibly SEC Championship, kind of jumping ahead a little bit. But from him coming from Coach Saban's staff, being there, knowing the ins and outs, pretty interesting matchup if that were to happen towards the end of the year. Not to mention they only give up 12.6 points per game on defense, so you can imagine it's Nick Saban, Disciple, would be a pretty good matchup Very there. similar, run the ball, play defense, good quarterback play. The teams match up really well. But like you said, if you're not looking ahead, Iron Bowl, they got to go to Jordan Hare Stadium, which we know can be a very scary place in the month of November. He's JP Dub. That's great call. We'll see you next time.